Next question. Swamiji, how do you know I am suffering from Kala Sarpa Dosha? Listen. If you are suffocated, loaded, pained by the past and not able to come to terms with the past, you have Kala Sarpa Dosha. Only if, listen carefully, if the past is able to merge into future comfortably, future is able to swallow the past comfortably, past is able to release future comfortably, future is able to be delivered from the past comfortably, you are living Atma Tattva. Understand? Past releases the future. You can even call this way. Past swallowing the future. Future swallowing the past. You can connect, you can describe in any way you want. Because it is a circle. You can call past swallowing the future or future swallowing the past. Future digesting the past. Past giving birth to future. You can describe any way you want. This whole process is happening in the present moment. If the present is not suffocating, comfortable. You are living Atma Tattva. If not, you have Kala Sarpa Dosha. See, your relationship with the present should be very intimate relationship. How casually, comfortably you can sit and clean your teeth and be comfortable with your present. Like a intimately having with your present, having a cup of coffee. Yesterday many devotees were giving the feedback. How beautifully Swamiji was describing Parandama, Vasudeva Krishna and Shishubala after becoming Vijaya means getting back to his position, original space of Jaya Vijaya. The Kamsa and Shishubala, after getting back to their original space of Jaya Vijaya, how they were sitting and intimately having chat, it's a scene. It's a just intimate scene I was describing. I can actually describe more. I don't want to say it is factual, factual, factual like you think. And I don't want to say it is a false lie. So don't worry about it. But surely, if you understand that scene, and if you are that comfortable with the present, that's all is life, all about. If you are that comfortable with the present, I tell you, you will be radiating the same comfort and intimacy with Parabrahmam, Parandamam, Parameshwaram, Parashakti, Paramashivam. Actually, the the, the prana of Vaigunta is love, prema, bhakti. It's very intimate space, Vaigunta. Kailasa is oneness, yaga, fire. Vaigunta is more like a cool, prema bhakti, the love space. 